We are rolling through the wild and zany season of sports. We are set for the most Major League Baseball playoff games in the history of Major League Baseball. Eight of them are going to be underway today, beginning at noon Eastern, running all day long. We had four going on in the American League yesterday, could potentially have some teams advancing to the final eight of Major League Baseball. Four teams will be headed to Texas. Four will be headed to California. The NL to Texas, the AL out to California. That is the latest there. We also have the NBA Finals beginning, the Lakers and the Heat. The Lakers are a a four-and-a-half point favorite tonight against the Heat. We'll see how all of that shakes out as that series begins and... We have a controversy in, uh, it's controversy, maybe an issue for the first time in the NFL with three different Tennessee Titan players having tested positive. The team has been removed from the facility, banned from the facility until Saturday. They are trying to prepare for their game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, two of the seven undefeated teams going head to head. The debate happened last night. We'll have the biggest audience on television since anything uh, since the world, sorry, since the Super Bowl was played back in February. And this is officially the final day of September. We are in now to October tomorrow, which is always a busy sports month, but is now a uh, busy, busy sports month unlike any we have ever seen before. I put up a poll question just a few minutes ago. Uh, and I started off the uh, the show talking about this a bit. Uh, not a surprise, but my fourth grader, who I've talked about on this show, I have three boys. I have a seventh grader, I have a fourth grader, and I have a kindergartner, 12, 10, and 6. My 10-year-old, just turned 10, is a huge Atlanta Braves fan. And so the Atlanta Braves are playing at noon. We all know how star-crossed their postseason history in baseball of late has been. Not as bad, by the way, as the Minnesota Twins, who have lost 17 games in a row, which is pretty unbelievable. But I asked the question, should I go get him out of school early today? Surprise him. He's not on social media, so he's not going to see this. Should I get him out early to be able to watch the Braves play at 11 a.m. our time against the Cincinnati Reds? Thousands of you weighing in early And you are saying by a high uh, margin that the answer is yes. Right now, 90% of you, 5,000 of you voted in the first seven minutes here. Is there any doubt in your mind, Danny G? And if there is any doubt, what if mom is not 100% behind this idea? (laughs) Does dad go ahead and risk uh, risk the anger from mom? How do you assess this? You're not a married man, so I'm curious how you would analyze this. I'm not, and so it won't surprise you to hear me say, who cares what mom thinks on this one? Um, 100% take your son out of school for this. It is part of life experience. Uh, A lot of listeners, like me, our favorite subject in school was flag football. Yes. so That's actually his favorite subject in school, too. (laughs) When mom or dad shows up at school unannounced and pulls you out to take you somewhere fun, that is going to be a memory uh, for a lifetime. So 100% I'm behind you doing this. All right. What about you, uh, Dub? What if mom is not a fan of the idea? How do you handle this? You are only 25. You are not married. You have no idea the battles of marriage to come. How would you assess this situation? Well, first of all, before I answer, Clay, I've been 25 for like two years, I think. Which I'm not. How old are you now? <laughs> I'm 27. <laughs> all right. So when did you? when's your birthday? September 3rd. So you had a birthday and on didn't mention it at all on air? I don't think I worked on my birthday. I, I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. He was passed out. I, I, I'm like you, Clay. I don't want to draw any attention to myself. Yeah, right. It's important to have <laughs> uh, have some humility um, and, and follow the, the leader of the show and just, you know, kind of do your job. Don't draw attention to yourself. Don't don't like say, hey, look at me. It's important. That's, uh, that's how you get ahead in life. Absolutely. As for your question, though, I don't see anything wrong with maybe – you know, going behind the Weiss back and heading back to Buffalo Wild Wings for another game day experience. Oh, well, that's even that's even more duplicitous because in that scenario, not only would I be withdrawing him from school, I would be not bringing him home, mm-hmm. uh, and therefore she may not know. And he's got to be part of the lie. Uh, 
and uh, and yeah, no, I mean that is an, an intriguing question. Unless she checks the bank statement there, right, and sees Buffalo Wild Wings. There. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah. you know, what about you? Uh, what about you, uh, Eddie Garcia? How would you assess this? Well, isn't the old saying better to ask forgiveness than permission? Uh, well, but I've already asked and oh, been told no. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, you, oh, you didn't, didn't tell that. us this oh, part. I didn't know that. Oh, boy. Uh, so that, boy. the plot thickens. Uh, yeah. So yeah. you're going you're gonna to disobey a direct order. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, yeah, well, in fact, my phone just buzzed. I probably shouldn't have looked down. <laughs> she said, I already said no. Why are you asking the world? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't think that damn. she would be listening. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. I didn't think that she would be listening to the show. <laughs> oh. I, yeah. I think the play here, Clay, is... I hope she doesn't call in. Dub, X out all the phones. <laughs> <laughs> I think the play here is, you know, honey, don't you want your son to be happy? This is, this is oh, about Oh, yeah, him, that's, right? that's a good point. This is a, I, doesn't, I don't think that works very well with moms. And, and now well, how, gonna, how, how, now, you, how, what's the doghouse like when you get in there? What's, what's the, what I you, live there. You know, it's spacious. <laughs> well, if you're there all the time, then it's no <laughs> yeah, big deal. Yeah, then it's no big okay, deal. Okay, wait, but, wait. Spin this for schoolwork. Why don't you have your son write an essay about the experience today? Well, afterwards? that's fine. But for, if, if my argument in all of this is if your kid misses a day of fourth grade, and it throws him into an uproar academically, he's screwed anyway. You might as well have fun with him while he's young. <laughs> it's a if, gateway if, drug, if, though, if watching you miss Braves baseball. Dad, if that's you some dad logic right fourth, there. If you, that is dad logic for sure. <laughs> if you miss a day of fourth grade and, and you're going to be in an uproar academically, your kid is in trouble for years and years to come. You might as well have fun with him while he's young. Uh, so that is my argument. I don't know that it necessarily is, uh, is, is well-received in general. Uh, that argument, but I do think there's some truth. Roberto, you're the well, yeah. So, so Eddie, it, you don't have any kids, no. So you you are married, but you don't have any kids. Roberto, you're the only other parent on the show. Yeah, but your daughter is young and uh, yeah, and five. not in and not in kindergarten yet, right? No, not yet. So what? How would you handle this situation? So it seems like she's kind of serious there. So it's like, uh, yeah, you're gonna be in a doghouse. Happy wife, happy life. You know, you know, you know how it says, and. How severe is the punishment going to be? Is we going to have like no sex for a month, or how's it? Yeah, are yeah, you that, sleeping on the yeah, couch with your two that's, cats? That's the biggie, right? Where the cats. Week, I'm not. The weekend's I, almost I, here. I, I am limiting my exposure to the cats. So, <laughs> so the if you're cats on the have couch, their own room. They've taken over one of the one of the bedrooms. Uh, the oh, she should make you house. sleep in the cat room. Then. No, I, I would die. I mean, I, I <laughs> argued against getting the cats by using COVID as part of my argument because I said. To the boys, you know, the boys and my wife made a big argument about why we needed cats and everything else. And my argument was, well, we can't get the cats because what if I get COVID and I'm allergic to the cats? I'll die. And, uh, and you know, I mean, look, I mean, everybody's like, oh, asthma is a bad, you know, like, uh, con- uh, you know, everybody's focused on the comorbidities. I think having the cats and getting COVID would probably kill me. So I tried to make that argument. It didn't work. I think they would rather have the cats now already than me. Like I'm, I think the family might vote in favor of the cats, these bingo cats that we have, over me to begin with. So you haven't like really handled the kittens. No, You're I don't not really want to touch with them. them. I'm, I'm not. I'm not interacting. We have the cats, and I have no relationship. So to you, they're basically a couple of spiders running around the house. I mean, I would kill the spiders. So they're not. Uh, they're not spiders. But I. I just. I. I, I, th- I think maybe I have picked up one of the cats once. That's the entirety of uh, that's the entirety of the interaction. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I, I don't know. So, I mean, yeah, this is now a challenging situation because I really didn't expect that my wife was going to be paying attention to the radio show this morning. See, the challenge you might, is... You might be in trouble already. I, I think I'm screwed in no matter what now. Yeah. Uh, because... I think it's been, a, it's been a while since Lara's been on the show, so I think we might need to speak to her this hour. I don't think we need to do that. I, I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think my wife has ever been on the show. I thought she was the first year we were, we were on. Did she come on? I, I don't know. She. she I, thought, usually- I thought we did. Maybe it was just a message from her that we read, but she was involved the first year. But then she quickly got bored of you being on national radio. Well, I mean, I, I think in general, somebody was asking me that question the other day, and that's why my assumption is she's not listening. How many people out there who are married – if your spouse was on the radio and had a public job in some way, if you were driving in the car, would want to hear your spouse when you're actually away from them. So I actually, like, if you're around somebody all day long, 
I think most people who are married would be like, the last thing I want to do is be in my car and listen to my husband or listen to my <laughs> wife for more time than I already have to be around them. Right? So I, I assume most of the time that she is not listening. And, uh, and so I can, you know, kind of say whatever I want, which is what I do anyway. But I should have just, I think the play here would have been to not say anything and not even mention the idea and then just go pull it off. This is a, this is a fraught with peril decision. Uh, all right. So eight different baseball games going on for people waking up on the West Coast. For the LA crew, if you had to choose Lakers or Dodgers, which team would you rather have win a championship? And I knew this question was going to be asked today. They're both beginning the postseason run today. Oh, Dodgers game one it's this easy. evening yeah. going head-to-head against the Lakers game one. If you had to only be able to pick one, the Dodgers have not won a title since 1988, whatever it is, like 12 or 13 years since the Lakers have won one. Who would the city of Los Angeles vote for and or who would you vote for, Danny G? The easy answer is the Dodgers. The problem is because of no fans in attendance, it's going to be really strange if the Dodgers finally win and the fans famous for making Dodger Stadium what it is can't be part of it with the team. Whereas with LeBron James and the Lakers, those narratives we've had to suffer through when he first signed with the Lakers, oh, he's not going there to win or really focus on basketball. He's going to be part of Hollywood and his production company and blah, blah, blah. And then with AD, it was, oh, he's making a huge mistake. He's getting bad advice. He he doesn't want to pair up with LeBron. What a huge mistake. They're not going to win anything. And LeBron is in the West now. He's not in the East. He's going to get a dose of reality. He, he doesn't have a, a, a path to the NBA finals now. So if the Lakers can beat the Heat in the finals, it'll be super sweet for all Lakers fans because of all the crap we've had to listen to over the past few years. And not to mention the Lakers struggled for, what, six, seven seasons prior to getting LeBron since the last time they were in the NBA finals. So the easy answer is the Dodgers, but honestly, it would be so sweet if the Lakers could pull this off. So you're going Lakers over Dodgers. Because so of the Dodgers because don't of COVID. win the title, it's your fault. No, I I would love to be in attendance at Dodger Stadium. Remember, you went to a World Series game, so did I, and had to suffer with those meltdowns, especially with the bullpen and some Dave Roberts decisions where he was like, I, I liked him in that spot there. <laughs> so... I don't know. It just sucks if the Dodgers finally win and the fans can't be there. That's the part that bothers me about the Dodgers right now. Eddie Garcia, which side would you take in this debate on behalf of the city of Los Angeles? Yeah, this is tough because, as you know, my longtime Fox Sports Radio nemesis here, Ben Maller, is is a Laker hater. Yes. And a Dodger lover. So, so you're just being an anti fan now and rooting <laughs> against his happiness. Yeah, it's it, it's I would have to say I'd have to root for the Lakers against the Dodgers because I want him to be as miserable as possible. You want him to be sad. So yeah, on behalf yeah. of the city of Los Angeles, you're taking the Lakers. What about you, Roberto? Oh, this is easy. this is easy for me, man. I was twenty when the Lakers won the titles. I've seen them win five times, celebrated five championships. I haven't seen the Dodgers win since nineteen eighty eight, man. And baseball is my favorite sport. I I would go to Dodger game all the time. I had a, I had a season, a season package for years sitting in the left field pavilion, and I've seen them lose and lose playoff after playoff. Seeing Kershaw suffer, starting I mean, fights, yeah, bleachers. starting fights back in the day, getting kicked out of games. Uh, so hands down for me, Dodgers all the way, man. Do you think the city of Los Angeles would vote Dodgers? Like if they, I if, think if, so. they, if there was yeah. an election and L.A. could vote, you think they would vote for a World Series title from the Dodgers over yeah, the Lakers? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been too long. Way too long. Which one do you think will get more? They're, they're going head-to-head, right? The Lakers and the Dodgers are both playing basically yeah, the same time. Yeah, right? all of L.A. We're going to have our iPads and TV screens on simultaneously having anxiety. Which one do you think anxiety? people in L.A. will watch more of? I'm going to say Dodgers. I feel like... All of LA is going to have two screens yeah. on. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are going to have two screens. But if you have to choose, you think people will watch Dodgers or Lakers more? 
Well, I would say because it's game one of a three set with the Brewers. Or it matters more the three. Dodger game does, right? Yeah. I mean, because yes. the Lakers could lose and still have – you're still going to have to win four regardless. Whereas exactly. And, and, if you lose game one in a three-game series, the stress level and then gets in, Yeah, exactly. In the playoffs way. in baseball, you're on pins and needles every single pitch. Yeah. So, I'm saying the Dodgers. I, I think also this is a unique day because there's eight different Major League Baseball games going on. But we've never had a three-game series before in Major League Baseball's postseason. So the pressure of trying to win a three-game series, particularly if you like, if you win game one, you're like, oh, okay, we got this. We only have to split the next two. And the pressure gets ratcheted down to a large extent, although trying to win two out of three is still stressful. But if you win one out of three – then uh, then that is in and of itself really kind of an interesting uh, an interesting decision. So um, you know, like I, I, I do think that's a uh, well, I, you can I, imagine can you imagine Los Angeles if the, the Dodgers go out and lose the first game? Oh, this oh is, my yes. God. people are gonna lose their minds. Yes, definitely. So I, that's why I'm thinking the Dodgers definitely everybody's been watching the Dodgers. Same thing by the way with the Braves. The Braves I mean oh, I, yeah. the Braves I mean it's like Minnesota right now where they've lost 17 Well the Dodgers right now are like the Braves were in the 90s, right? Well at least the Braves got one World Series. The Dodgers haven't done any haven't won anything. Yeah, they haven't been able to get anything done. All right.